Brandon Sanders and I'm here with my friend Brandon Zelensky and we're going to talk about long range shooting. Yes, uh, so Chance here is uh, an accomplished pistol shooter and he's wanting to get into the long range game so we're here today to kind of um, give him the basics of that and how everything works. And uh, what we're going to be using today is a custom rifle built by Greatest Rifles, uh, local to the uh, South Carolina and Georgia area. And in my opinion, they build some of the best rifles you know you can get in the United States. So I definitely look at uh, Greatest Rifles. And so what we have here is uh, a rifle chamber in 6XC, which is a pretty common um, competitive round to use, shooting a 243 caliber size bullet. Uh, we have an impact action Hawk Hill barrel. Uh, heathen muzzle brake, and we have it topped off uh, with the Night Force ATAC R7-35 um, with a Mill C reticle, and we have a Sky Pod that we're using for a bipod. And uh, so you can see here that we have, you know, essentially top of the line components, which is fortunate for him to kind of start off on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go through some of the basics on how to set up a position. Commonly, when you, you see somebody that doesn't have much experience in long range shooting, and you tell them to get into a prone position, this is very common of what you're going to see. Um, and because it feels comfortable and you know somebody's gonna get into a position they feel comfortable on because uh, when they're shooting long range you know uh, if you're in, a, in an uncomfortable position you're gonna have muscle movement and your reticle is gonna be moving all over the place and so uh, what we're gonna do today is kind of show you guys how it should look so right now you can see um, the angle of the rifle coming back and the angle of his body and shoulders right here right so what we want to do is square that up so move your hip all the way behind here and so now instead of uh, this buttstock being in the medial part of his shoulder uh, where it's comfortable, you know, he's going to feel a little bit more on his collarbone. But what we're trying to achieve here is the, the, the line of sight or the, the direction of the recoil coming straight back into his shoulders at a 90 degree angle. All right? So that way his entire body takes the recoil as compared to just his little part of the shoulder. All right, because get back into your original position, please. All right, so now if we picture this rifle recoiling, which is not going to be a whole lot of recoil anyways, this is 660. So any six millimeter is not going to have much recoil. But when this rifle does recoil, um, you can see here how much his shoulder is moving. His shoulder is taking everything. So as a result, um, his reticle is going to move quite a, quite a ways off target um, you know, after every single shot. And so now, especially if he doesn't have a spotter and he's trying to look for his own impacts or where he missed to, he's going to have a difficult time doing that. So if we get back into a proper position and we get our proper alignment right here, uh, his feet are going to be spread out. All right, minus his post here. All right, his feet are spread out. Now, when I go to uh, look at the recoil, now we can see that all this recoil, you can see movement in the body, right? So his whole body's taking the recoil. So now, whenever he shoots um, and he's looking through it, he maintains the follow through, looks through his scope, his reticle's only gonna move a little bit. It's gonna move a lot less than, than as before. All right, guys, so now we're in our good prone position um, that, that we built from the ground up. And we're on target. We're just aiming at a target 780 yards away. All right. So it's key that we have a very good position and we have good fundamentals. And so right now, you know, we kind of built the gun around him to where uh, the cheek piece and the, the butt pad on the on the back are spaced out perfectly for him, to where he can rest his head on the gun um, and have his eyes closed. Just rest his gun head on the gun, open his eyes, and he's going to have a full uh, field of view, full sight picture, and there's going to be no scope shadow. Um, that's, that's the first thing to do is set up your rifle. You want to make sure you have no scope shadow. And we have the optics set up ideally for him to where the eye relief is, is perfectly fine. So once you have the rifle actually set up towards you, uh, to you, you know, which we can easily do with an MPA chassis, um, the next step is just to get behind it, shoot it, and make sure you're fundamentally correct. So now we have him behind the gun, totally relaxed, shoulders relaxed, arms relaxed. Now, right here we have a rear bag in the back, um, which is going to help us achieve whatever elevation we want to shoot at. All right. Now, having a little bit of consistent pressure back there is totally fine because that's what's going to uh, give us our elevation at whatever we're shooting at. So he might have a little bit of pressure on his hand back here. Other than that, everything else is completely relaxed besides the trigger finger. All right, so go ahead and send the bolt forward. All right, so we have a level here on the rifle. We know the gun is level. We know he has a, a good, solid prone position. Um, he, he's achieved the proper elevation from the rear bag right here. All right, so the next step is you know just to achieve the natural point of aim. So basically, him naturally resting at rest, we want to make sure that reticle is centered on target or wherever we want to aim at. So go ahead and aim it on that diamond down there. Mm -hmm. All right, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, relax, close your eyes for a couple seconds. There you go, open it up, and that reticle should be exactly where you want to aim at. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is how we establish a natural point of aim. Um, 
a, a very easy tendency or a, a common tendency for people is to have that reticle just slightly off and what they'll do is they'll kind of muscle into the gun you know they'll push their cheek down or they'll push their hand up a little bit in order to get that reticle where you want it but you don't want to do that you want to have a natural point of aim so it's perfectly centered that's what he's got here so the next thing we work on is our, is our trigger control right so we have our deep breath in deep breath out all right, this is our natural respiratory pause, right? He breathes out, that's our natural respiratory pause. It's gonna be the same exact pause every single time right there. All right, that's when I want you to press that trigger, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have your finger on the trigger, ready to go. All right, very slight pressure. Breathe in, breathe out. At that pause, you can get, go ahead and give it a squeeze. All right, now, you know, depending on what trigger weight you're using, if you come all the way down and, and you're starting to squeeze a little bit and it doesn't go off, that's fine. You know, just come back up, take another breath. You don't want to, you don't want to rush anything when it comes to this stuff. So go back down, go ahead and reset. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Nice slow squeeze, steady squeeze. There you go. Take another breath, nice and slow. All right, good. Now, after you took that shot, where you're still on the target, the reticle is still on target. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. So we know that we're not really anticipating too much. So we went over a little bit on how to build the, the proper prone position, executing some of the fundamentals. And so another step that we have to work on is repeatability. So we want to be able to establish this same, the same exact position every single time um, and make it consistent because consistency will, will uh, translate down accuracy long range. So what we want to do is go ahead and stand up, get out of position. All right, so I want you to aim it on that same exact target and build the same exact position I went over to and just dry fire. So get back into position. All right, good. He's lined up directly behind the rifle. All right, his elbows are in the same spot. You can kind of see right here how his elbows are kind of 90 degrees offset from the, from the um, bore right here. Okay, good. All right, he's going to double check his natural point of aim once he's on target. Did that look and feel the same as before? Mm -hmm. All right, that's what we want to achieve right there is a consistent position.